Joe Pesci's a cool guy. I like Joe. Joe's a good guy. We had our differences on the set till I made him understand who I was. But Joe's a good guy. Who else was on the movie? Oh, James Woods, great guy. That's a great guy. Smart guy, James Woods. I think he got underpaid in the movie myself. This guy's a great actor. He couldn't figure out who I was on the movie. And then he come up, who are you, who are you? How could you, you're always sitting next to Scorsese. I said, what's the big deal? I said, he's human, he's got skin and bones just like me. He says, you gotta be somebody. About three days later, he come up to me, he says, I know who you are now. And I said, let me correct one of them scenes that you did in the movie. I says, you got a, you got a, your own personal, uh, what do you call him, uh, stuntman. I said, you gotta do that scene this way. And he done it the way I told him. And he thanked me. The class guy. This guy's a class guy. But De Niro, he makes my rocks hard. I'm telling you. Uh, it's just, it's a shame. This guy's got all the money, all the fame. I don't know. Maybe he's not getting enough pussy. I don't know what it is. But that's the problem. Yeah, Bob, I'm talking about you. I don't like De Niro. I used to like De Niro. I don't like him no more. I know he's got a voice. He could talk all that shit he wants, politics, and get it out there. This guy don't know what the fuck he's talking about. That's the way I look at it. You know, these people, they live in a fucking velvet fog. They live in a fog. They don't know how to communicate with the average person. The average middle class or poor people make made them rich. If they don't go to the shows and watch their movies, they got nothing. They forgot about that. De Niro's got more money. I'm almost more money than God, okay? Why did I used to love this guy. This guy, I loved him. The great. I used to think he was great, a good character actor. But after all of that nonsense he's doing, he's embarrassed himself. He's embarrassed himself, and I really feel bad for him. But I dislike him because of that. I met all these movie stars on a set. And Sharon Stone, I got to tell you something. She's a highly educated, beautiful woman. Forget about her beauty, her education, her brain. She could adapt to anybody on any level. To me, that's a brilliant person. My English is poor, whatever. She could sit there and rap with me and understand what I'm saying. I first met her. She was dating this guy on the set. His name was Bob Wagner. They made him assistant to the assistant to the assistant director. Good kid. He was out of Chicago. And I used to bust. He introduced me to Sharon Stone. And you want to know something? That woman, when she walked into a room, she cased the room, just like a crook would case the room, to see her surroundings. I watched that stuff. And every time she came to the room, she spotted me. She's sitting talking. We bullshit by the bar or whatever. She didn't feel uncomfortable around me. She knew who I was. And it was a pleasure to be around her. And I used to tease him about being with her. I said, what are you doing? You just play quarter slot machines, you hobo. I said, you're a boy toy. After the movie, she's gonna run you. Ah, you're just jealous. I said, you mark my words, after the movie, you'll be gone. After the movie, she gave him his walking papers. But I sat at the bar with her many nights while we were doing the movie and talk. She's just a good lady. I, I just wish she was on more, more shows. And God bless her, she never ages. She never ages. Uh, anyway, Sharon, if you're seeing this, who loves you, baby? And that's it, I'm done talking. Hit that prescribe button, that subscribe, I found go, that button, okay? I hope you enjoyed yourself. Having coffee with Colada. See you later. God bless.